Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and Assalamualaikum to Ms. Hana. My name is Marsha Afga binti Marlizam. Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Aina or Sofia binti Mamanuhiman. I am from BA 1185A. Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Amy Natasha Bintiaku. I am from class BA 1185A. Hi, my name is Nur Emilia Azrin binti Zaifun Nazim and I am from BA 1185A. Hi, I am Baron Nana Teresa Zatron Gabin Vijay News and I'm from BA 1185A. Kita the greatest, yeah! Kita the greatest, yeah! Hello everyone! So today we will be presenting to you an event that we have chosen for OPM 310 organizing events titled Opening Ceremony of the 19th Sukma Perak 2018 So first of all, what is Sukma? Sukma Malaysia, also known as Sukma, is a sport that takes place once every two years in the state that is chosen to host the event. Apart from discovering fresh talents from the youth, the selection of states as host aims to improve sports facilities. The opening ceremony of the 19th Sukma Games took place on September 11, 2018 at Stadium Indra Mulia in Ipoh Perak, also known as Stadium Perak. The event started at 9pm and ended at 11.30pm. Sukma was conducted by the Malaysia National Sports Council in partnership with the Malaysian Olympic Council, the National Sports Association and the state government. The reasons why we chose this event for our reflective writing and presentation were that it was a glorious event back in 2018 where we celebrated to further enliven sports activities in the country. The ceremony was also one of the most prestigious sporting competitions awaited by the entire country. Not to forget that we are actually missing the lively atmosphere before COVID-19 hit the country. There are five objectives as to why this sport event is organized. First and foremost, improving the quality of sports for youth athletes at the state level. Second, encourage and enhance the performance of officials such as coaches, technical officers, and sports administrators. Third, encourage the construction of new sports facilities as well as the refurbishment of existing facilities. The fourth, which serves as the foundation for selecting athletes to represent the country at the international level. Five, strengthening national integration. The tentative start of the event started around 9 p.m. after the arrival of the athletes Young Ahmad Muhammad Said Sadi and Young Ahmad Muhammad Fazal Azmu and His Highness Sultan Nazri Muayyizuddin Shah and his spouse Raja Parmasri Perak Tuanku Zara Salim. After that, the national anthem as well as the state anthem and a recited prayer by Al Fadil Ustaz Abdul Aziz. Perak, as the host state during 2018, was the last to enter the stadium as the athletes marched past the participating contingents. With fireworks and projection of the countdown, the opening theme song, Wow, Kita the Greatest, was sung by Dato Wah Idris and Equine. Performance by Indra Sakti, 250 drones in a multicolored light show. The event, con the event then continued with Said Sadiq and Faisal Azumu giving speeches of welcome. Next, the Sultan of Para officially declared the games to start. The Sukma Games flag was raised by Royal Malaysian Navy's troops and the athletes' oath by, was completed by Ahmad Kushari. An amazing and incredible event was closed by the performance of Pahlawan Dabus, Para Wow, and Para Gemilang. The event then concluded at around 11.30 p.m. So here is the flow of the opening event. Started from 6 p.m., people already gathered around the stadium. Then the marching band began enter the stadium. After a few minutes, arrival of VVIPs who are Liang Maha Mulia Sultan 
Nazir Muizuddin Shah, Sultan of Perak, YB Said Sari bin Said Abdul Rahman, the Minister of Youth and Sports Malaysia, and Yang Ahmad Berhormat, Ahmad Faizal bin Azumu, the Minister of Perak. The ceremony continued with people stand up to sing songs of Negaraku and Negeri Perak. Then, the recitation of prayers by Al-Fadil Ustaz Abdul Aziz bin Yahya, who is from Jabatan Agama Islam Negeri Perak, before begin the ceremony. After the recitation of prayers, there are cross aspect parade of a state contingent consisting 15 contingents. The state of Perak, Pahang, Pulau Pinang, Kedah, Sarawak, Negeri Sembilan, and many other states are participate in the cross aspect parade. Moreover, audience are watching in the Rasaki performance which involves 700 participants to celebrate the events. Finally, the opening ceremony of Sukma 19 Perak 2018 was officiated by the Yang Maha Mulia Sultan Nazrin Muizuddin Shah accompanied by YB Said Sadiq bin Said Abdul Rahman and YAB Ahmad Faizal bin Azumu. Duri Yang Maha Mulia Sultan Nazrin Muizuddin Shah, Sultan of Perak Darul Rizwan, is the VVIP in this event. He was born on 27 November 1956 and married with Tuan Ku Zara Salim and have one son and one daughter. For your information, Sultan Nazrin Muizuddin Shah has been proclaimed as 35th Sultan of Perak by the Council State, Dewan Negara Perak, on 28 May 2014. Furthermore, Duli Yang Maha Mulia Sultan Nazrin Muizuddin Shah started his education at SK Jalan Kuantan and continued at ST John Institution Kuala Lumpur. He then further studied abroad at University of Oxford in Philosophy, Politics and Economics. He managed to hold a master's degree in Public Administration at Kennedy School of Government. Besides, Duli Yang Maha Mulia Sultan Nazrin Muizuddin Shah hold PhD in Political Economy and Government from Harvard University. Without further ado, I'm going to share about the first VIP which is Duli Yang Maha Mulia Sultan Nazrin Muizuddin Shah who launched the opening ceremony. Baginda declared the opening ceremony with lots of spirit and support from the people. Next is a welcoming speech from Tuan Syed Sadiq Syed Abdul Rahman. YB Tuan Syed Sadiq Syed Abdul Rahman, Minister of Youths and Sports, delivered his speech to welcoming everyone, the royal guests, the family, the VIP guests, contingent, visitors, and everyone involved to enliven the ceremony. This welcoming speech function was to show appreciation to everyone in the stadium and people who stay still waiting for the ceremony at their home. In his speech, he gave a big thanks to Perak government because offered him a chance to present his welcoming speech at the opening ceremony of Sukma 192018 Perak. There's a part of his speech where he shares some history about Sukma. As a knowledge, Sukma is a short word from Sukai Malaysia. The Minister of Youth and Support apprised that the first ceremony was held in 1986 when at least under 21 years old participate in Sukma and showed their ability and talents. Tuan Said Sadi always welcome this type of event from every state to make sport thrive and be well known in Malaysia. Besides, he is concerned that this sports talent must be cared and polished out from the start. He proudly says that from Sukma, a lot of Malaysian athletes have been known and brought Malaysia's name as a representative in each sports field. As we can see, Malaysia has Datuk Lee Chong Wei, Datuk Nicole David, Datuk, Datuk Azizul Hasni Awang, and Datuk Panila Rinong, also many more. They are simply in different types of sport. In the meantime, it proved that Sukma was very important in finding new talents in sports. Moreover, he convinced everyone that Sukma would make Malaysians become one. Then, he supports everyone's dreams even though they are so big because no one knows about the future and it is their dream. For the time being, the dreams will be an achievement and shows that Malaysia can be champion. He once again thank everyone who, in, who was in charge of making the ceremony successful and makes everyone live in peace without any concern or discrimination between any races. He separately said Malaysia boleh three times before he end his speech. Now we will moving on to the sponsorship who stand together to make this ceremony successful. Kind of disappointed because we don't have the exact amount that has been used to complete the ceremony. 
but we found that the budget was more than 12 million. As you can see, these logos of the main sponsorship will have Tenaga National Berhad, Telekom Malaysia and al Isan Sports. These sponsors were really important to make the ceremony run smoothly. Next is the official and non-official sponsorship. This ceremony received a lot of sponsors in terms of platinum. There are three types of platinum which are gold medal, silver medals and bronze medals. Now we will go through the first medal which is the gold medals. This medal has been sponsored by Tan Chong Group. You can see the logo attached to the slide presentations. Next is the silver medals. It has been sponsored by Sun Yu Sundar Merhat, Empire Indra Sundar Merhat, KL Tehlin and Development Sundar Merhat, Petronas Rich Trading Sundar Merhat and Asia Pacific Sport Sundar Merhat. I also attach their logos on the slide in terms of silver, silver medals. The last medal is bronze medal that has been sponsored by three companies. They are Palace Vacation Club, Ratis RX Sundar Merhat and GB Quarry. As you can see, in this slide, these logos has been attached. The last sponsor was from Intel Cooperation who sponsored the performance of the light at the end of the opening ceremony. People cheer on the performance because it enlightened the situation and makes everybody feel the atmosphere. They are using the lights to shape the mascot, the Malaysia and pair of flag, the Sukma logo and many more. Now we move to promotional medium to promote this event. First is promotion was made throughout the wrap up sticker at the train station and known as ETS. Because of the large number of people and the well-known location in Ipoh, this promotional medium is particularly effective. The train was decked out and decorated with stickers and posters advertising the Sukma XIX Perak 2018 opening ceremony. Next is billboards. Uh, also, the Sukma XIX Perak 2018 opening ceremonies promotional mediums. To inform and spread the word about the approaching event, billboards were placed across and around Ipoh. Billboards are deliberately positioned along busy roads, allowing a large number of people to see them. Other than that, Sukma XX Perak 2018 opening ceremony also promoted through Instagram, Facebook and Twitter were also used to publicize the event. A catchy hashtag was created so that the public may utilize it when posting on social media. People could also use the website to search for and check out information about the event. After that, the biggest medium promotional of Sukma XX Perak 2018 opening ceremony is through newspaper. The audience can read the updates and information about the event and be alert. Newspaper can also provide daily updates on each game on current result. Furthermore, many television channels such as TV Tiga and others broadcasted live coverage of the event and provided news updates. People can also hear about the event on the radio, which was broadcast by stations such as Hot FM, Sinar and ERA. On YouTube, a teaser video and a song about the event were posted. There was also official song of Sukma XIX Perak 2018 titled Wow Kita The Greatest created by Dato Wa Idris and the singer is Iwal. Lastly, YouTube was also used as promotional tool for the Sukma XIX Perak 2018 opening ceremony with a large number of videos and montage about the event being posted there. The official Sladang mascot which represent the legendary beast was also unveiled on YouTube. This wonderful Sukma XIX Perak 2018 opening ceremony which had the theme Wow, kita hebat went out without a hitch and went smoothly. The president of Perak, Datuk Sri Dr. Zamri Abdul Kadir presided over the ceremony. It is started with a massive parade of athletes from all over state in Malaysia including as uh, badminton squad athlete from Selangor, football team athlete from Johor and many more. Sukma have presented and unveiled its new logo which are combination of two elements, human and water. The meaning of the logo is human symbolizes all charismatic athletes while the water symbolizes the longest river in Perak. Next, Datuk Seri Dr. Zamri as opposition leader of Perak State Legislative Assembly also introduced new social media for Sukma Perak such as Instagram, Facebook and Twitter.
from that way, there will be an interaction with audience before, during, and after the event. In the ceremony, a new mascot called Chot has been officially represent Sukma XIX Perak 2018 as well as to replace the old mascot York. Official sledding mascot Chot symbolizes the legendary animal. There were so many performances at Sukma XIX Perak 2018 opening ceremony. All other Malaysian states also took part in the cross suspect procession to represent their own state. By the end of ceremony, a dynamic performance was, ha was held by a singer, Iwal. He sang so powerful to express the spirit of song titled Wow, Kita the Greatest, created by Zato Uwa Idris. For the medical and emergency services, the only thing that I can find and was visible on that day was the St. John Ambulance Malaysia Perak. The St. John Ambulance Malaysia Perak was already on standby at the opening of the ceremony. There were also places in three other different locations, which was at the Taekwondo game, the netball game, and the basketball game. The St. John Ambulance Malaysia Perak offered an emergency ambulance and also a first aid kit treatment. Because the only team that I can find on that day was the St. John Ambulance Malaysia, I suggest two other teams that should be there at the event. Maybe there was a team there at the event, but it was not visible on the video. So the first team is the firefighter team. Because at the opening ceremony, they were using a lot of fireworks and also a torch to lead the Sukma cauldron. To prevent the fire hazard from happening, a firefighter team is a must, or at least there should be a fire extinguisher nearby, which was not visible in that video. The next team is the security team, police or an army, or any other type of security team. This is also an important team because if there wasn't any of this security team, there will be no one to protect their VIPs, His Highness the Sultan and the Promissory. This security team is not only for the VIPs, His Highness the Sultan and the Promissory, but also for the audience which will present at that time to prevent them from fighting and injuring any other participant. Going to the next point is how the event ended. The opening ceremony of the Sukan Sukma 2018 Vera started by a parade from contingents from different states. And then there are a lot of other performances from various artists and singers. The opening ceremony then continued by a welcoming speech from Sheikh Sadiq, the Minister of Youth and Sports. The Sukan Sukma then was launched by His Highness the Sultan by placing a kuris in a launch box on the stage that leads the Sukma cauldron up. As the cauldron Sukma leads up, it is a sign that the Sukan Sukma 2018 Vera has started. After that, there was a video of montage that was shown about Sukma and a drone show which the drone flew up to the studio and showed the whole studio from above. The event then ended with the camera zooming out and showing the fireworks shows around the stadium. The post-event recognition of this event are post-event news clippings from newspapers such as Berita Harian and The Star. Other than that, it also has post-event news clipping from tabs of television coverage which is Bulletin Utama on TV3 channel. Next is strengths. According to our findings, there are numerous strengths that contribute to the success of this event, Sukma XIX Perak 2018 Opening Ceremony. To begin, there are a variety of methods for publicizing and promote the event, including banners, posters and billboards, television and radio, newspaper and also social media. All of this strategy and method were surprisingly efficient and as a result, Particularly, everyone in Ipoh and even those from other states are aware and notice of the event. This encouraged more people to attend the ceremony and their 
enthusiastic support and also give their warm support to the event. Second, the event went off without a hitch because they have meticulously planned and arranged every detail to ensure that it was flawless and perfect. Because many management plays such a crucial role in the event, excellent management is one of the key strengths. The fact that medical and emergency services were well prepared for the ceremony and event demonstrate that the management care about the safety of those who attend and join, as they did not anticipate any undesired situation occurring during the ceremony. Third is they choose an event venue that was strategic and suitable place to set up this event. The place which is Bulatan Aman Jaya, Ipoh is so spacious, huge and large enough for them to stage contingent entry procession and mascot performance from each of the participating states. After strength, we have weakness. During the event, Suma XX Para 2018 opening ceremony, there are various flaws that can be identified and correct. First is music background and arrangement of music. The music is very loud and they are intense when the music has an echo problem. The music also sometimes installed and open at the wrong time and making the situation unpleasant. It occurs when the host is providing a mascot introduction and the music is mixed with the host voice resulting in a muddled pronunciation and unclear speech. In my opinion, they should do a rehearsal before the event begins so that they will know where to place and install the music and when to reduce or lower the music background so that it does not distract the host while he or she is speaking. Next, the seating arrangement that they provide for the audience is not systematic and disorganized. It occurred during the ceremony when the weather was very terribly during due to heavy rain. Some audience and VIP seats were exposed by the raining and caused them to wet and feel uncomfortable. Aside from that, the dancers and other performers must be cautious when performing because the floor is wet due to rain. In my opinion, they should be prepared for inclement weather such as setting up a tent or a closed area where the audience may shelter if it rains and the closed or roof area for performer. This event, Suma XX Para 2018 opening ceremony, in my opinion, has been really well organized, perfect and fantastic. The last point is conclusion. To ensure the successfulness of an event, a good teamwork is a must. A good teamwork is an important factor to ensure that the planning process of an event will run smoothly. Without a good teamwork, the planning process will not run smoothly and there will be a lot of disagreement. A team member should listen to their team leaders and do as what the team leader says. If they have any disagreement, they should voice out their disagreement and not do as what they think is right. Because doing as what they think right and not discussing with everyone relates to a bigger problems than it already has. Next, to ensure the successfulness of your event is by seeing the number of the participants that attend to your event. The more participants that attend to your event, the higher the chance that your event will be successful. A successful event are seen by the number of participants because without a good number of participants that attend to your event, your event will surely not be successful. And to make sure there's a lot of participants that attend to your event, you need to give them benefit. For example, by doing a lucky draw or by giving presents or prize for the participants that attend to your event. By giving them benefit, it will attract more participants to attend your event because they wanted the prize and they wanted the benefit that you gave. And last but not least is a good venue. A good venue is also an important factor that should be considered really hard before you do your event. Without a good venue, the participant also will lose interest to attend to your event. For example, a good event should an event should have a lot of parking lots for people so that they can park their car easily and 
The parking lot also should be near to the venue of your event. A good venue also should be comfortable, convenient, and easy to access. It should also suit your team of your event. For example, if your team for your event was sports, then you should find a venue that fit the team. For example, stadium or field. If you choose other than this, or a place that did not have enough area for you to do your sports activity, then it will lead to another problem. And this will make other participants feel uncomfortable because the space are too small and they cannot move easily to do their activities.